What is going on everybody? Welcome back. We are finally back here with another LSPDFR video. I have been trying to get back here for the last couple of days, but we have just been running into issues after issues. First off, my files were messed up, so I had to reset everything. Next off, my microphone was having issues, so every time I recorded, I wouldn't uh, hear my voice, so that took some time to fix. And then I've been busy ripping out floor and reinstalling new flooring. And it has just been a crazy past couple of days. And we've actually been gone for about a week, a week and a half now. So we've been pretty busy. But I'm looking to get back into making content um, on the channel. With that being said, we should be posting every day from here on out now until you guys hear otherwise. Um, we picked up with the California Highway Patrol in Mir Park. So that is what we will be doing again today. But we will be sticking to the beach area with that being said let's go ahead and get into today's patrol um, we haven't lost a subscriber count so thank you guys for all sticking around um, I am looking to get back into posting on TikTok so that we can get another subscriber jump um, other than that let's get into today's patrol so I Dave dispatch go ahead and mark me 10 8 valve calls Alright, so uh, we got this guy behind me. He's got the green underglow tent on his uh, on his car. So we're going to go ahead and get him pulled over here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get flipped around here. We'll go ahead and just sit tight. Um, wait for this guy to pull through and then we'll go ahead and get a pull over on him. Do, 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 do. All right, so we got him pulled over here. Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. Alright, there we go. Toy David Dispatch, I'm going to be out on Bay City Avenue um, on the Goma Street crossing here with a white and colored muscle car. Occupancy is going to be times one. No additionals needed. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run the plate real quick. Uh, see what we got going on with the uh, valid, valid, not stolen. So we're good there. Um, let's go ahead and talk with them, see what we got going on. Oh, I gotta remember to close that door. There's a button for that, and I keep on forgetting to do it. How you doing, sir? Officer Todd with the uh, Los Santos Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is the green underglow tent you got going on. Um, it's illegal on main roads as long as you're on a private property or public. Uh, or um, yeah, as long as you're on private property, uh, you're allowed to have the color on. But once you hit main roads, it's got to be clear, which is uh, white, or it's got to be turned off. So, um, I'll go for vehicle equipment here. Um, you know it's forbidden, correct? Well, yeah, that's the point. You got to turn it off uh, once you hit the main roads. So, um, if you got a switch to do that, go ahead and do that for me. Um, but other than that, go ahead and hand any license, registration, proof of insurance for me, please. All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Jobs. Go ahead and just sit tight for me. Alright, so um, we did get a narcotics hit on that, but uh, for this patrol today, we're going to go ahead and ignore all that because it um, it normally comes up in every single stop, which, uh, again, i got to go in and fix that um, now that we're restarting here on my settings reset. So I'm going to have to go ahead and fix that. So we're going to go ahead and ignore whatever, um, whatever narcotics thing comes up for today. Um, everything goes back valid, though. Everything's clean. He doesn't have anything on his record. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just issue him a... Uh, a warning for the equipment. Um, there we go. Oh, I kind of like this. Um, actually, I don't. I guess I don't need to. 
necessarily add short note or anything like that. There we go. I kind of like that though. Um, that updated, so um, we can add notes to uh, anything that we'd like, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll have to uh, explore with that and see what we can do. All right, sir. So uh, what we did was we just wrote you a warning. Um, you got 30 days to fix it or turn it off. Um, if you got a if you got a switch for it, go ahead and hit that switch. Um, if you don't got a switch installed yet, just go, when you get home, make sure you uh, get this taken care of. Um, you got 30 days to do it. If uh, another officer pulls you over for it, um, go ahead and just hand them this ticket, um, and they'll know that you uh, already received a uh, warning for it. So here's this. Um, you can uh, take off once I get back in my vehicle, um, and you're free to go. All right, so uh, we're all set there off that traffic stop, so um, we'll be good. Troy Dave Dispatch, go ahead and mark me 10-8 off the traffic stop. Alright, so we just observed that uh, motorcycle right there following really closely to the uh, car in front. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get them pulled over for that. What the? In the night sky? That dude is whacked. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy pulled over here. He's following this car in front of him really uh, dangerously. Um, if it was two cars, I probably wouldn't be as concerned, but since he's on a motorcycle, um, I want to get this taken care of uh, and just give him basically a heads up that what he's doing is a little dangerous. 28 Dispatch, I'm going to be out with an orange and colored motorcycle here on McGowan Avenue heading southbound. Um, Occupancy is going to be times one. No additional is needed. Four, copy that. Go ahead and run the plate. See what we got going on. We got no insurance. So look at that. A simple traffic stop for um, riding too closely leads to no insurance. So um, we'll go ahead and get out here and see what we got going on. Okay. I got to just, I just got to get back in and keep, there we go. I just got to remember to do it. That's all. How are you doing, sir? Officer Todd with the uh, Los Angeles Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is you are following that uh, car in front of you really closely. Um, and uh, I'm a little concerned about your safety, especially because you're on a motorcycle. Um, is there a reason why you are uh, why you're following too closely? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys were just coming around that corner, though, so... Uh, he really didn't have time to take off. Plus, it's only 25 through this area right here, um, the beach area. So, uh, really, you couldn't go any faster. So, uh, go ahead and hand me your license, registration, proof of insurance for me, please. Kip Lump. Thank you. What was it? Insurance. Why are you driving without your uh, insurance? Insurance is too expensive. All right, well, it is a law. You got to have it. So go ahead and just sit tight for me real quick, and uh, I'm going to go back and uh, check your name out and everything. All right, so this guy's just being an idiot. I mean, he's... What the heck? I don't know what an animation that guy just did, or what my guy just did. But uh, we got no insurance. So um, first off, he's, fo he's following too closely, and he doesn't have insurance. So if he would have gotten to an accident, there would have been a big issue um, with that. So... Driver's license is suspended. Oh my goodness, this dude's a mess. Um. All right, so that's an arrestable offense, I believe. Actually, let's see here. Um. Driving has a suspended license. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get him out of the car, and uh, we'll get some talk. We'll get a talk with him. Actually, we'll go ahead and write up some tickets first, though. Um, I believe it's documentation. Um, failure to insure a vehicle. 
Um, we'll get them on that first, and then we'll get them on the driving too closely. Um, um, Oh, here we go. I completely, I, I was on it the whole entire time, and I just didn't see it. All right, so we got that. So we got two tickets for them. Um, we'll do the appear in court. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. We're going to go ahead, and I was just thinking if I should uh, do a short note or not, but uh, we'll play around with that later. Um What the? Then you, you guys just hear that conversation? You're in international water? I'd have to look that up. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and issue the tickets. Here's your two tickets: one for driving at an unsafe uh, distance. The other one is failure to insure your uh, your vehicle. Um, let's go ahead and. Uh, you do know uh, your driver's license is suspended, correct? All right, so you are you do acknowledge that you uh, have a suspended driver's license, so um, go ahead and just step out of the car or the vehicle for me. Step off the motorcycle. Um, Hold it. Good news, I'm pregnant again. Go ahead and uh, turn around for me. Um, you're gonna be under arrest for driving uh, with knowledge on a suspended license. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to attorney if you can't afford one. One will be appointed to you. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and get you a prison transport, and uh, you'll be heading down to uh, county for booking. Assistance required, and the spoochie. The only thing that's going to poke you stick me or hurt me, correct? Alright, so we didn't get anything right there. You got anything on the bike, right? Nothing in the bike? Alright, so nothing on the bike. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get a uh, tow truck or tro or pickup truck down. What the? Assistance required Sir, you need to stop driving like an idiot right now, or I swear to God, I'm going to come after you. And you need to fix your red underglow tint. You know what? Actually, screw it. Let's get this taken care of real quick. Luckily, this freezes, so he won't be able to take off on us, but realistically, that would not happen. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I don't really have a short note yet. All right, now this guy, this idiot's going to get pulled over. Come on, officer. This is a mess. This is just an absolute mess. This guy's getting pulled over. I don't care how he does it. This guy's driving like an idiot. Yeah, pull over. Thank you. Sorry, Dave Dispatch. You can go ahead and mark me off that last pullover. I'm going to be out with another car, black and colored, uh, muscle car. Occupancy is going to be times uh, one. No additionals needed at this time. We're going to be out on Magellan Avenue heading southbound. Alright, so basically I'm pulling this guy over for absolutely just driving like an asshole. Um, valid, valid. Nothing. So everything checks out with the car. So we're going to go ahead and make contact and uh, see why he's driving like an absolute idiot. All right, man. Officer Tyler at the uh, Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is for multiple reasons. Uh, one, red underglow tint. Uh, you can't have this legally on a public road. You can have it on while the vehicle is not in motion and private property, but it's got to be white or turned off while you're uh, driving on public road. Reason number two is you almost drilled by another officer back there, and you're driving like an absolute idiot. So, 
Uh, go ahead and um, hand me your license, registration, proof, insurance. Kip Lump. Thank you. Why are you driving like an idiot? Oh, you always drive like that? Well, you know what? You need to head back to uh, driving school to figure out how you're supposed to drive because you're driving like an absolute idiot and you're going to kill someone. So you sit tight for me. I'm going to head back to my cruiser and get some crap figured out. I don't know. I sound like an idiot. Get some crap figured out because that's what an officer would say. Oh, well. It's been a while since we made a video, so I, I'm kind of slipping here. But um, let's go ahead and... Oh, why do I have... Okay, it's this guy. Uh, valid, nothing, everything comes out clean. Um, he was stopped three times, but he's definitely getting a ticket this time because he made me mad. So we're going to get him for the equipment. Um, we're going to get him for that. We're also going to get him for the, uh, we're going to get him for a careless driving ticket as well. We'll get him for notice to appear in court. And uh, we'll get this to him, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, sir, so you're, you're receiving two tickets today. One for driving like an absolute idiot. It's going to be a careless driving ticket. Um, the other is for your red underglow tint. Um, you have 30 days to get this taken care of. If you get it taken care of in 30 days and you present it to the court, the court might drop the ticket, um, or they might just send it through. So get it taken care of and, hold, and just pray that uh, the court drops it. So here's your two tickets. Sign here. It's on the mission and guilt. It just says you received these two tickets today and uh, that you acknowledge the court date on there. You're free to go once I get back in my vehicle. Stop driving like an idiot. Just trying to hang on until tomorrow. 20 day dispatch. Uh, you can go ahead and mark me. 10 valve calls. 10-4. This guy kind of looks cool. Clouds look cool. All right, so we're good to head back on patrol today. Um, we added a couple stops there, so uh, we had to take care of. The second guy made me mad, so. It's a little better. 20 David Dispatch, I'm going to be out with a gray and colored uh, sports car. Occupancy is going to be times one. We're going to be out on Bay City Avenue heading southbound. No additionals needed at this time. Uh, 20 dispatch, go ahead and clear me of last call. I'm going to be out with a possible stolen vehicle. We've got a possible 148. 20 David dispatch, I'm going to be out uh, with a gray color. 20 day. I just got hit with a vehicle. Never mind, they're getting up, they're good. 20 David dispatch, suspect just hit a uh, 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 pedestrian on the side of the road. Okay, well, I don't have time for that. I'm out with a great... Alright, well, they're not exactly helping me out, so it looks like we're going to be hitting this one solo because the script messed up and isn't allowing me to call for backup right now, so we're going to be doing this by ourselves. Um, we'll still go ahead and update dispatch uh, like we would normally do. Oh my god! What in... Alright, they're good. 20 David Dispatch, we're going to be out on Bay City Avenue heading northbound, gray and colored SUV, um, possibly stolen vehicle. Uh, occupancy is going to be unknown at this time. Oh my god, this guy is just hitting everybody. I don't know why this script is so messed up. I can't call for backup. backup See if I do that, if it'll possibly... I don't know if it will or not, but... Oh well. We'll be doing this by ourselves. Let's go. Nobody messes with me. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Calm your shit. Full back. Oh, shit. 
Come on. There we go. Prairie David Dispatch, I'm going to be out with one in custody, Bay City Avenue and Del Perro Boulevard uh, with a possible stolen vehicle. All right, man, let's get you off to the side of the road here so uh, we can get traffic cleared. Go ahead and take a knee for me. Ah. Oh, damn. God damn. There's another stolen car. I can't deal with that right now, so. Sorry, David Dispatch. I got a possible another stolen vehicle heading northbound Space City Avenue. Go ahead and send me an additional out there. Uh, notify Highway Patrol that they're entering the highway at this time. Roger that. All right. Let's go ahead and get her up and get some questions going here. Go ahead and stand up. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? Why do you care? Well, I care. You want to know why I care? Because you hit one person, you're lucky they're still alive, then you drilled another car, and then you drilled another car. Why do I care? Well, I care about other people's safety, and right now you're doing a terrible job of keeping people safe. What do we do, decide to steal a car? 20 Dave Dispatch, go ahead and give me a, uh, a vehicle check. Vehicle license plate. Hey. Stolen. One, That's four, what I Nora, figured. Edward, Ocean, eight, five, eight. A traffic violation. A All possible right. stolen vehicle. Approach with caution. All right. So we got confirmation that this car's stolen. So you're going to be going away for that. You're going to be going away for hitting another person um, with injure, and then you're going to go ahead and get booked with hitting two cars and running. So. You're going to be getting a handful of charges here. Go ahead and turn for me real quick. You know anything that's going to poke me, stick me, or hurt me, correct? Hey, keep it real, dude. Keep it real. All right, we got nothing on that. We got a baggie of unmarked pills, so we'll go ahead and submit that. Anything in here is going to be subject to you, okay? A large bong in the trunk. Okay, never mind. That we will not book her with because that was found in the trunk, not the driver's seat. So, all right. You have at this time you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to attorney. If you cannot afford one, when we appoint you free of cost. Do you understand your rights at this time? All right. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything else we need to ask her. Um, do you have any warrants out for here? You check it yourself. Wow, you're a real biatch, that's for damn sure. Go ahead and have fun in county. They don't exactly treat people very nice there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get her figured out. She's only 20 years old. Um, she has literally a perfect record, so why she would want to steal a car, I have no idea. So This is a rancher, so uh, vehicle owner. Belongs to an Amy Taylor. She's 18 years old. That stinks. 18 years old and you get your car stolen? I couldn't imagine. And it's your own car, too. It's not like it's your parents' car or anything. That would suck. That would suck. Well, at least we got it back for her. It's not in great condition, but that's what insurance is for, right? Actually, yeah, okay, it has insurance. <laughs> um, So we got our girl here. All right, so we got the pedestrian. Um, we got eluding LEO. Um, leaving the scene of an accident. And we'll get her for the um, stolen vehicle. Do, 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 do. Where is it at here? Stolen possession. Possession of a stolen vehicle. So, um... Go ahead and submit those charges. There we go. So she went from having a perfect record to four felonies on her record. That will add up. That will add up for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, uh, the car towed here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call the insurance company. Assistance required. Tony David Dispatch. 
go ahead and notify the insurance company that we got a car here uh, that was stolen that we need a recovery for it. Alright, so it looks like uh, the insurance people just showed up here at 1 o'clock in the morning, so pretty good insurance company. They're 24-7, so. Alright, thank you, sir. Alright, so the insurance agency is going to take care of that, uh, take care of that car for us, so. 20 David Dispatch, go ahead and mark me 10-8, Attention unit 1, David 20. We've got a person carrying a knife in, uh, Pacific Bluff. Hey David Dispatch, I'm right around the corner. Go ahead and mark me code 3. Alright, so looks like we just got a call of a person carrying a knife. Um, we're right around the corner, so we're going to go ahead and take that. Suspect is male. Hey David Dispatch, uh, I'm on scene. Uh, I, w I have a suspect right here. Roger. Suspect's running. They're fleeing eastbound Cougar Avenue. Eastbound Cougar Avenue. Correction, southbound Cougar Avenue. Dispatch, we have a visual. Everybody take off! Taser discharge, taser discharge. Watch crossfire, watch crossfire. You're not going anywhere. Going in for the arrest, hands on, hands on. Twenty David Dispatch, well, one in custody. All right, sir. Go ahead and follow me over here. Let's get some stuff cleared up. All right, man. What are we doing today? We're just walking around with a knife. Why do I care, man? The last person I arrested at said that too. Why do I care? It's because you're walking down the road with a knife. What are you gonna do with a knife, my man? Anything that's gonna poke me, stick me, or hurt me besides the knife down there, right? All right, so we don't got anything that. We got wire cutters, so we got a knife with wire cutters. What are you doing, cutting wire? Why'd you Why'd you run when we came up to you, man? All right, let's see if there's anything else we got to ask. All right, looks like there's no uh, there's no question for that. So let's go ahead and get him uh, down to county. All right, sir, at this time, you have the right to remind silent. Anything you say or do you can use against in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford one. One will be appointed to you free of cost. Do you understand your rights? Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume he does. And we're going to get him booked. All right, looks like we got three tickets on him. Um, no arrest record, but he will have one now. Um... He did come at me with a knife. Um, he was swinging, so uh, we'll get him on the. Uh, uh, it's an attempted assault. I don't know where the attempted. Oh, here we go. Attempted. We'll get him on the attempted murder of a police officer. Um, as he came at me with a knife. Um, we'll get him on the. Um, branching of a deadly weapon, and I think that's all we're going to get him on. All right, there we go. We'll also get him with the attempt to flee and elude on foot. I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it, so we finally found it. So, And we'll go ahead and submit those charges. So uh, two misdemeanors and a felony. So uh, that's going to suck. Hopefully he doesn't have a...
job that he's planning on keeping. Um, so we'll get him his prison transport. Looks like they're pulling up right now. And they're here. Ooh, does that light bar work on the back? Oh man, it's not work. Oh, I guess it's kind of working. The light bar on top doesn't work, but the back lights do. Huh. Typical fucking asshole. I guess I'll have to Gee, watch your language, dude. I might have people under 18 on here. I don't know. Just kidding. Actually, I checked. I don't have anyone under 18, which is pretty good. Um, I have it set to where you have to be 18, I think, so... Um, so at least we're all set on that. But uh, that's going to be it for today's patrol. 20 David Dispatch, go ahead and mark me 10-7. Have a good rest of your night. Roger that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull over here. As I just do that, because, I mean, why not? All right, so as I was saying, I'm so excited to be back here making videos. Um, it's been a while since I made my last video. Why is my, my blinkers on? There we go. That's kind of cool, takedown lights. Oh, wow, I should use those more often. Um, anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm super excited to be back here. We're going to be making videos daily now, um, at least until I let you guys know when the next break might be. Um, the break won't be as long. It might be just a two- or one-day break. Um, but other than that, I am back full-time here. Um, but let's go ahead and get into these court cases real quick. Um, I hope you guys are still sticking around. Um, and haven't left me yet. Um, so the person that we just arrested uh, was fined. Given 16 years, 3 months in prison. The big one was the attempted murder of me when he swung at me with a knife. Um, I could have actually reduced that. But he was found guilty. Um, probably because of body cam footage. But I could have reduced that and give him just a, um, assault or something just smaller. Um, but uh, he was given 16 years for it. So he was found guilty of it. Uh, he was also found guilty of the branching of a firearm. Or not a firearm, but a deadly weapon and the fleeing the loot area. Uh, next person um, was our rec our driver who hit a pedestrian and hit another couple vehicles. So uh, she was found guilty on all four, uh, given up to five years in prison and given a pretty hefty fine. Um, our next person was the, I believe the guy that made me really mad. Um, yes, yes, it was the guy that really pissed me off. So uh, he was fined. Um, Looks like he got his neon glow fixed because his uh, ticket was reduced. But, uh, actually, yeah, his ticket was reduced. Um, but we will keep moving on. This was our driver we arrested um, first. We gave them the, uh, um, oh, this was the arrest. So he was fined $320. He was license was revoked and granted probation. Um, and then the two tickets. Looks like he was fined 300 ish dollars. 377 I hope my math is correct on that. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys like today's patrol. Again, so excited to be back. I hope you guys are as excited I, as I am. Um, I am going to be trying to post on TikToks to see if I can get another subscriber jump here. Um, we're at 90. I'm looking to break 100 here pretty soon. And who knows? We might do a giveaway. Is, is there such thing as a 100, uh, 100 subscriber giveaway? I feel like there should be. You know, just because, like, why not? Why, why not be nice? Why not return the favor? So if we hit 100 subscribers, we might go ahead and do a giveaway. Just, like, a little small giveaway. I'm a small YouTube channel. Um, but, uh, obviously I want to give back to you guys because you guys have been great. So if you guys are sticking around to the end of my videos, you might enter a giveaway. Now I sound weird as hell. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, peace out.